Today we're gonna do some prep for this upcoming season. We're gonna tie some haddock rigs. It's mid-February up here in the Northeast, and even though we're in the heart of winter, uh, when you really start looking at the calendar, we're only a couple of weeks away from haddock fishing. Uh, we can get out on April 15th, so that's only eight weeks away. One of the things I like to do at this time of year is prepare. So now is the perfect time to tie up some rigs. Make sure you're ready to go when the season rolls around. I'm going to show you some tips on how we think you can improve your hookup ratio um, and how you can avoid losing these fish. It's not the most difficult fishery. You don't have to trick these. These aren't tuna fish. You don't have to hide the bait. Um, but there are some things you need to know about them. They do feed on the bottom, and because of that, we tend to use a Kyle hook, which is an open-faced hook. Uh, it seems to provide a better hookup ratio for us. Look, haddock of bottom feeders. They're gonna hang right on the bottom. They're sucking up crabs, uh, shellfish, uh, clams, small shrimp. You really gotta get the presentation down low. And then if you check out the orientation of their mouse, check out this picture right here, you can see why these kale hooks are really gonna do damage for these fish. They really spin on the way up. So what they do is they, they'll spin the hook up to a point where it won't spin anymore. That gives them enough leverage to actually pop the hook. So we like to put a swivel on the hook between the main line and the hook. You're gonna need a few materials to follow along. You're gonna want some leader material, 50 to 60 pound test. You're gonna want uh, some barrel swivels and you're gonna want a good quality hook. I strongly suggest using this kale style hook. Uh, we found that the really helps with the hookup ratio on the haddock. All right, let's get into this and show you how to tie these. Starting with the leader material. Start with the top of the eye. Quick clinch knot. I'm gonna go down two feet. First dropper loop. One, two, three. You're gonna go through that loop. surgical tubing, any color. Um, really the benefit is that it's keeping the hook away from the main line and it's really gonna increase your, your hookup ratio. Again, I'm just using some old colored tubing that I have around. Um, I like to use pinks, blues, uh, even whites. Uh, it seems to, seem to do good. I know a lot of people use orange. I'm gonna put that tube over the dropper hook. You don't want to stop there though, you want to give yourself some space. You want to pull it all the way through. And now we're going to put the hook onto the dropper loop. Go through the eye. Hook goes through that loop. And go. That's all you need to do. Bring that piece of tubing back. Bring that piece of tubing back. You can see dropper loop, tubing, Kyle hook. And now that you got that swivel, that hook's not gonna bind up on you. That haddock's not gonna pop itself off coming, coming up. Again, you're gonna have far better hook ratios, far less lost fish. Go from the main swivel, 
gave myself about two feet. The first drop of luck loop, I'm gonna give myself another two feet, and then I'm gonna tie another dropper loop. Use your teeth. Second dropper loop. Again, push it through. Give you plenty of room. Loop through the eye. The barrel swivel. The finished product, dropper loop. To a barrel swivel, to your kale hook. Now I'm gonna go down another foot. Two feet, leave myself enough room to tie a loop for my weights. So basically, I want about a foot from that last hook, and then I'm just gonna do a double, double overhand. Plenty of loop. That'll hold, that'll hold easily up to a 20 pounds, 20 ounce sinker. There you have it. Barrel swivel. Hook one. Hook two. To my sinker. Rig as a hole is probably, you know, three to four, three and a half feet long, um, which is plenty on the big, Cod jigging sticks that we're using. All right, I really hope this helps you guys out. Um, I know I'm looking forward to getting out there in a couple of weeks, getting some fish for the table. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Happy to answer them.